Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the midst of her recovery, Sister Wise star Janelle Brown has returned with fresh information. The 55-year-old experienced a terrible loss in March of last year when her son Garrison Brown passed away from a head wound caused by a gunshot. Suicide was determined to be the cause of his death. Many people were devastated by the loss of the Brown family. Nevertheless, Janelle remains optimistic in spite of everything that has transpired. See her most recent post, where she joyfully shares, but continuing to read. Sister Wives What's new for Janelle Brown? Janelle has experienced several heartbreaks, but she still has success in life. The Sister Wise actress is still a spokesperson for Christine's pink drink brand. Along with leading a healthy lifestyle, she has shared nutritious recipes and uploaded videos of her workouts. Janelle enjoys discussing her gardening endeavors with Maddie in North Carolina. The reality TV star reportedly paid $289,000 for a 156-acre tract of land in North Carolina which sparked rumors that she would soon relocate near to her kid. After a personal tragedy, Janelle talks about joy. Janelle uploaded a video of herself on Instagram, discussing happiness and joy. The Sister Wives actress claims that she has been considering the distinction between joy and happiness. She went so far as to admit that she looked it up since she thought the meanings were different. Happiness, according to Janelle Brown, is ephemeral, and typically fleeting. Like engaging in happy-making activities, she continued. Later on, she clarified that joy is a lasting emotion and described it as a deeper sense of contentment. Fans also left encouraging remarks for Janelle, wishing her pleasure and happiness. That is a really wise idea. I hope you have a lovely day and are overflowing with joy. I need to think about this carefully because I haven't given it much thought. I appreciate you sharing. I can't believe how happy you girls are since Cody dumped you all. Janelle, I hope you have happiness and joy. Janelle Brown discusses her busy life, sister wives. Last week, Janelle shared a video on social media that included some of her regular activities. The sister wives actress claims that she typically has a lengthy to-do list. Nevertheless, she made the decision to spend Sunday in Sedona, which is about 40 minutes away from Flagstaff. She also disclosed that she is making the most of her time in Flagstaff because she won't be staying when she concentrates more on North Carolina. She continued, I always try to grab a meal with a view, and it's always a beautiful drive down Oak Creek Canyon. She then mentioned how frequently she shops for turquoise jewelry. In the unfolding narrative of the Family Women family, Janelle Brown has been oral about her split from Cody Brown, differing with Christine Brown's perspective on her own departure from the polygamous arrangement. Janelle, 54, ended her marriage with Cody in 2022 and has openly bandied her reasons for leaving and her determination not to return to her former life with him. During the Family Women Talk Back special, Janelle addressed claims made by Christine regarding her part in Janelle's divorce from Cody. Christine had suggested that she encourage Janelle to leave Cody, reflecting on her own commission after ending her relationship with him. Christine said, From the day that I asked him to not stay there presently, I took my life back, and I got it back, and I came stronger that day. I'm not saying that Janelle has to follow the same path, and she has, a way different situation than mine, but she needs to know it's oak on the other side. Janelle, still, expressed frustration with Christine's recrimination that she needed stimulant to leave Cody. She refuted the idea that she demanded assurance that it would be okay, stating, I need to be shown that it's okay, and that's just bulls, because I've left. I've three children that still live in Flagstaff, so why would I not stay then? I like Flagstaff. I've three kitties then. Janelle also clarified that the complexity of their scattered means was a factor in her decision not to move down from Flagstaff and emphasized that her single status shouldn't be interpreted as being stuck with Cody. Janelle and Cody, who married in a spiritual form in 1993 
as the alternate woman, in the polygamous family, share six children, Janelle Bandy Cody's Jeste, in their marriage, indicating a problematic pattern. She remarked, Cody has this thing where he's like, I've done so important and I've offered so much for this relationship. Well, that right there's a red flag. However, perhaps it's better if it's over because it's a two-part equation in a marriage if he feels like he to emulate for the relationship. She also rude not pursuing farther education and not setting healthier boundaries within the family. During occasion of sister women, Cody tried to attune with Janelle on a birthday date, but Janelle wasn't interested in reigniting their love. She expressed in a confessional, I just don't suppose there's important path forward for Cody and I. We just are different people now. He thinks else. An attempt by Kobe to kiss Janelle was met with rejection. Regarding Cody and Christine's relationship, Cody hopes that Christine's new marriage to David Woolley will put an end to their conflicts. He expressed his want on the family women one on, one special, hoping Christine would concentrate on her new hubby rather than condemn Cody. Cody met Woolley compactly, chancing the commerce miles and leaving with a neutral print. Christine, who was the first to leave the plural marriage in 2021, had preliminarily cited Cody's favoritism towards Robin Brown as a reason for her departure. Still, her new monogamous marriage has given her fresh perceptivity. She reflected, I was standing in my kitchen, and I allowed, this is how Cody feels about Robin. How I feel about David is how Cody and Robin feel about each other. Christine Brown set up love again after ending her spiritual marriage to Cody Brown and gushes over her unborn hubby on Sunday's occasion of the family women one-on-one -on -one special. I met the love of my life, I did. Soulmate, Christine tells host, Sukanya Krishnan of her now, hubby, David Woolley. Christine explains that she was laboriously dating when she met David, but was not inescapably on the quest for a serious relationship. I wanted a mate. I wanted someone to have a good time with, but I really was only casually dating. She says, I wasn't looking for the bone. Christine describes the moment she looked into David's eyes, recalling, I'm like, I want to be looked at with those eyes with the look of love in them for the rest of my life. Christine admits that she felt uneasy when David was suitable to say everything right, but adds that her reservations faded after meeting the construction superintendent's family. She came to the consummation that she was in love and that his love for her was genuine. I didn't indeed know what I didn't have ahead, but I knew at that point that this was it. He's it for me, she says. When asked about the differences between her relationship with David and her marriage to Cody, Christine points out that there are no strings attached this time around. First thing I realized was that David loves me. He loves me, and I feel so favored. She says, with that comes a confidence that I can just be me. There's no strings attached to it. Nothing. I didn't have to do anything to earn his love. It's just always there. Christine and Cody blazoned that they were calling it quits in November 2021. Janelle and Mary followed suit a time latterly, leaving the polygamist in a monogamous marriage with his fourth woman, Robin Brown. Christine tied the knot with David in October, and latterly spoke to E.T. about his unborn part on the show and the newlyweds two-part marriage special. You're gonna see him a lot. He's not in this season at all. He's in a special and of course, he's in our marriage. Christine participated at the time. And he's awful, and he's so good, and he's so kind. Christine added that she and David participated in immediate connection and soon realized that they were a perfect match. I had no idea it felt like this or would feel like this. It really is a dream come true, she raved. It's amazing. It's like we just kind of moved in side by side with each other, and just continued moving on in our life, but we're doing everything that the other person wanted to do but no way did. So we travel so important, and try so numerous new effects, and we've so numerous further kitties now. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel, and don't miss any updates.